Okay, we are at 18 Royal Palm. Nice circular driveway. Two car garage. Large shade tree here. And these palm trees need some trimming up, but they could look pretty nice. Um, there's a sago palm. They're very nice uh, bushes to have. Just need some cleaning up, trimming up. I would say the house needs some paint and some landscaping. There are gutters, which is nice. A lot of homes don't get don't have gutters on them here. Cut glass uh, in the front door. This would be your dining room. Two stains in the carpet. This would be your formal living room. And again, there's another stain over there in the corner. Um, this home does not have any window treatments, so you've got to consider that. The light fixtures have been removed, or most of them, um, or ceiling fans. Okay, let's take a look at the master bedroom. You have two vanities, a garden tub, there is your shower, and your toilet. This house has been beaten up a bit. There's, um, there's a hole here. Drywall's not that expensive to repair. I don't know how to do it, but I don't think that it's costly to be done. There's another tear in the drywall. There is a ceiling fan that's been left here. Sliders that go out to the pool area. And the ceilings have a popcorn finish. Here is the master bedroom closet. Okay, let's go into the laundry room. It's right off the master bedroom. It does have tile on the floors. Some shelving up above. wired for security. It's not being monitored right now. Here's the garage. There is a garage door opener. Your hot water heater. I do not see a sprinkler system here. That's another thing to consider. We haven't really needed the sprinklers this summer because we've had a lot of rain. Okay, here's the kitchen. Um, you do have a dishwasher here. The sink is pretty beat up. You might be able to clean it up and wash it. 
Countertops are for Micah. The cabinets are a little bit rough. Uh, you could probably reface them. Looks like uh, they're peeling. Let's see what's underneath the sink. It looks to me like there may be a leak down there. There is a bucket there under the garbage disposal. That just raises a red flag to me. I don't know if there's a leak or not, but it makes me think that there might be. Okay, the floors in here are tile. Um, you do have a light fixture here. In this area, you could put a kitchen table for your eat-in kitchen. The stove has been taken. You do have a vent up there. Um, there is room that you, it looks to be the, enough room to put a microwave up there if you wanted to replace that vent. And you will need a refrigerator. This has a really nice size pantry in the kitchen. Okay. Here is your size. You have some uh, plant shelves up here. It is open at the top of that wall going into the formal living room area. Uh, here is a coat closet, which is nice because a lot of houses here in Florida do not have coat closets. This is another nice feature. Uh, I know it takes up space in the house, but your air handler is inside the house. It runs more efficiently because it's not sitting out in a hot garage. Right over here, I did show you the laundry room. That is a pocket door, which is another nice upgraded feature on a home. Okay, let's go to the other side of the house. Here is a spare bedroom or a guest bedroom. Standard size uh, closet with bifold doors. This bedroom looks out over the pool. Um, there is a ceiling fan up here. It looks like, let's see if I can get it to work. It does work. You could probably just replace the paddles because it looks like they're warped. And again, the standard size closet. This uh, one of the doors is off the track here. This has been cut out, and I'm assuming that it's because they needed to get to the plumbing in the bathroom. There is a crack in this door, like somebody was maybe kicked it. A little crack there as well. Um, that cabinet door could probably be repaired so it sits on there properly. And 
That looks like some rusting there. You might be able to clean that up and recaulk it around the sink. The mirror has some damage to it. Um, you might want to get a new mirror there. It has a fiberglass bathtub and shower. Exhaust vent. And this would be your linen closet. Okay, let's go out and take a look at the pool. Needs a good cleaning out here, but use some uh, pool chemicals like chlorine. It'll come up nice and clean. Now, some people will just add chemicals to the pools to make them clean. Others will uh, have the pool drained and acid washed, which I think that might be the best thing to do on this pool. Um, that costs about $450. This is a good size pool. Very nice size. The yard is completely fenced. This green enclosure looks to be in decent condition. Right over here you could put a nice table and chairs, come out your bedroom door and have your coffee in the morning. Or where I'm standing right now, this is a nice size covered lanai. You could put a ceiling fan up there. Lots of space, lots of pool decking out here. This is the only place that I see it um, screening that's missing. Um, which would be pretty cheap. Maybe 20 bucks to replace that piece of screen there. Okay, this is the end of our tour.